Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a review of the Brick Slayer Lego Roller Coaster by Brick Coaster. This Brick Slayer can be purchased from BrickCoaster.com. On BrickCoaster.com they have a variety of other Lego Roller Coasters including two different Brick Slayer packages. The Brick Slayer package where you buy the track and make everything yourself. Or the Brick Slayer package where it comes with all the Lego pieces you would need to make the track. You can also find a variety of other Lego Roller Coaster tracks if you want to make your own roller coaster huge or just different from the picture. If you're interested in seeing how the Brick Slayer was packed and how it looked like when I got it, you can check the cards right now to find an unboxing video. Included in the Brick Slayer roller coaster was one red roller coaster, but as you can see, I have a blue one here to add to my review. The coaster itself is actually a pretty neat little thing because as you can see, it doesn't actually drive on the ground because there's a plate on the bottom that just to keep the wheels off the ground, so the wheels only work on the special roller coaster track. There are the two spots for the minifigures to sit there, and as you can see at the front, we have these slopes making it look like an even faster car, and then we have some grill plates and just some tiles going along the other side. Here's what the front of the car looks like. Each roller coaster car can fit up to two people. The coaster is very cool because it has a variety of different humps and slopes and all the different things a roller coaster would have. This roller coaster is huge. It takes up three 32 by 32 base plates. I'm supporting my track with just a bunch of random black bricks and some black support thingy majiggies. This is just the original kit that they give you with instructions on how to build, but you can pretty much modify yours any way you want to. I myself am planning to do a really cool mock with this with like a platform right here with stairs and like a line and it's just going to be really cool. Here are the stickers that came with the Brick Slayer and you can put those kind of wherever you want on your mock. They're just a nice little thing they added. If you are worried about not having a lot of Lego pieces to do the bottom supports, don't really worry. I, as you can see, use just black supports, but you can use multicolor supports and I think multicolored supports would look really, really cool with a roller coaster like this. If the Brick Slayer looks a little confusing to put together, don't worry because Brick Coaster has provided awesome instruction manuals that will help you build your Brick Slayer. It is very professionally done and I really like the colors. As you can see when you open it up you have the coaster car and the six steps on how to make it. And then from there you can see step one is just showing you how to make advanced roller coaster track. The one that uses a little bit more pieces. It shows you in detail how to put each brick on each roller coaster track and it's just really good. And as you can see there's a tip for a faster coaster. It shows you where to apply your stickers, as well it shows you the simple build of the Brick Slayer. Here on the back is just a list of parts that Brick Coaster recommends for your Brick Slayer. Here's also just a little overview of all the roller coaster parts that actually come with this set. Just so you know when you're buying your roller coaster if you need to buy any other parts to make the roller coaster of your dreams. I did say you could use the Brick Coaster with some minifigures, and I tend to find the minifigure one goes out just a little bit farther than the cart with no minifigures. I'm no physics major here, but I think it's because the minifigures are heavier, making the car go longer. Hey, is that a fat joke? Sometimes when your cart has decided not to go as fast, there's a simple little fix. All you need to do is actually take the brick coaster, as well as some cooking oil. I'm using olive oil, but you can use like any cooking oil that your parents have in the kitchen, preferably the most expensive one. Last thing you'll need is just a Q-tip. You're going to want to start this process by removing all the wheels from the axles. Next what you're going to do is you're just going to want to pop off that bottom plate there which is not too hard. Part of the roller coaster may come with it but that's okay you just set those parts to the side. Now you just take off each axle individually. So now you have two axles. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your little cotton swab here, you're going to dip it in the oil and you're going to oil up the axles. Once your parts are all oiled up, what you want to do is you just add the wheels back to them like normal. Now the last step is you just got to rebuild your cart. Now your cart's going to go so much faster. And here is what I have done with my Brick Slayer coaster. 
I took all the roller coaster track and set it out just like the instructions provided. And then what I did was use some of my own pieces to make like this entrance way. And I used some of the really cool stickers provided in this set. I made this walkway all the way to the very top. And when you get to the top, you can see that I've created this like standing area with the sign that says do not stand up, as well as some flags at top. This simple little mock looks very sharp. This is a super cool brick coaster, brick slayer Lego roller coaster, and I really love it. As I mentioned at the start of the video, if you're interested in purchasing the brick slayer brick coaster, you can head over to brickcoaster.com. The link will be down in the description below, and you can buy the, this package, the package with all the Lego bricks, or you can just purchase the individual track to make your dream coaster. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more Brick Lover 18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brick Link. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.